and this is the line of the acceleration. And uh, in, this, uh, uh, in this motion, the acceleration is non-constant. Uh, and the fact at the beginning, it's negative. And then the runner uh, stops. Uh, and uh, after that, the acceleration is uh, zero. And uh, almost zero because the, the speed uh, is uh, constant. And then uh, it keeps growing. And then it decreases uh, again. Uh, after 15 minutes, there is the first uh, control point. Uh, so the acceleration becomes uh, again zero. And after it increases again. This is the calculate of the average speed of the race in uh, kilometers and this is the space and this time in hours. So then we have the, we had uh, located um, four points of four point of points uh, on the on the track of, of the race. And uh, we have um, calculated the, the, the speed between them. These four points, uh, we, take it, <laughs> we, we take that uh, from the website of GPS. Yeah. See, these, uh, uh, these are kept by the, the graphic. Mm -hmm. uh, the speed is calculated in uh, kilometers uh, per hour and in minus per kilometers. And these are all the all the speeds. Next. 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 And the, the calculator of the average speed between the control points. These control points we take uh, <coughs> by, uh, by the race standings um, where there are the times and the at uh, a part uh, A, we need the mass and the speed, and we multiply by 4, and we have the, the runner's power. And D, uh, we have uh, the best exercise, we put the leaves of the different track and the vegetable. Okay. In the second exercise, uh, we calculate the average speed between the control points, and later uh, we we take the numbers of the time, the position, the altitude, and the pace from the website, and we uh, calculate the speed using the pace. We pass the minutes to seconds and the kilometers to meters. In the, in the race, and we can use five uh, ways to do that. And I'm going to show you quickly the first two, and the other one, and the two. And to, in the first way, we need the uh, distance, time, average speed, runners, mass, and technical efficacy. Uh, so we, we have time, distance, and we calculate speed. And then, um, uh, okay. And then we find uh, the energy found in the uh, GPS track, uh, the four point control. And uh, with the distance and with the time, we calculate, as before, the average speed of each point of control. Then, and that's it. And the uh, yeah. 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 yeah.